have forgot to film it and it probably would have made a really good time lapse but I was so freaking sick of not being able to find stuff like I had this nice big let's say toolbox and it just had tons of junk on top of it and every time I needed a tool something was on top of it so what I did yesterday we went shopping and bought a million things you know little fittings pipes all sorts of things for the cottage I decided to sort of split everything up into bins. I have a bunch of these uh, plastic, these clear plastic bins. And so I split it up into like electrical stuff, gas line, PEX piping, plumbing, power tools, hand tools, and then random other materials. I mounted the air compressor and the nail gun on the side and maybe one of the best things ever is I got an old cup and I screwed it onto the side rail and put a bunch of pens, pencils, and even a pencil sharpener because of course every time you need a pencil it's nowhere. It's vanished. Okay so we're standing inside. That is towards the big house. That's the front of the little cottage here's the center wall since we're getting rid of the center wall what I have to do we're gonna be putting a big parallel beam up on top probably a um, three and a half by 14 inch parallel beam and that's gonna be screwed or uh, nailed in a bunch up there but to support the weight you can't just put it on one of the little pier blocks that's down here, those little concrete pads, those blocks that are there. So what I actually need to do is dig a bigger footing. I'm probably going to do about 12 inches deep and 16 by 16 or 18 by 18 square. Hopefully it's not going to have a ton of rocks. I know any digging that I've done so far has had lots of rocks, but we'll see how this goes. So. Okay, so here is the hole. It's uh, probably 14 inches deep and about 18 by 18. And it goes right under the center where this um, piece of trim used to be out here. That's the center of the building. So then I will come down, I'll embed a uh, Simpson bracket down in the mud, down in the cement and uh, and then we can put the load up to the rest of the beam. This is called a Simpson tie post base and the whole point of this is to sit in the concrete and create a barrier between the concrete and any wood. Wood sitting on metal is fine, metal sitting on concrete is fine, 
but if you just have wood sitting on concrete, eventually it's gonna suck up some moisture and down the road, gonna rot out the wood. So the other nice thing is this comes with a couple of brackets, these ears that stick up, so it's really easy to attach the post. You can screw them in um, on either side to make a really good secure connection. So um, it has these little wings down at the bottom and I'm gonna stick those down into the wet concrete and it will, once it cures, this is locked in there for good and I'll have a perfect spot to uh, run the load from this beam down into this concrete pad. Now I do want to make sure that this is level, so I'm going to run and grab a level and uh, make sure we're good. Okay, it's Friday morning and there's a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. I say that every time. I always want to get stuff done, but let's see what we can actually do. Mm -hmm. 